So um, today I went, because uh, I'm almost out of foundation. So then I talked to a few people over the past couple weeks that they were like, I swear by like the Urban Decay Naked. And I'm like, oh, that looks amazing. So I went and I trotted my little self down to Ulta and I bought the Naked uh, foundation and concealer. Uh, let me warn you guys, it is not for people with big pores or oily skin um, because, as you can see here, it completely rubbed off the bridge of my nose, like to the point that when I walked in and I showed the girl, she was like, <laughs> very obviously <laughs> trying not to laugh because um, I went back and exchanged it for my usual. I'd rather have a cakey product at the end of the day than a <laughs> striped on the middle of my nose all day. If you have oily skin like me, do not try that naked line it's just no it's not gonna work out i gotta actually start by taking off my makeup um so today i am uh i'm going to be um meeting with some friends and so i'm going to be wearing this really cute uh sundress over here it's so light and airy which is so important here in arizona or it is so hot all the time like all the time it's so hot <laughs> So if you're like, I love the hot weather, move here, man. Move here and enjoy yourself. Uh oh, that's not attractive. I think I'm going to do a full face video today. I mean, I don't know why I'm talking like this, because there are like two of you that watch my videos. So it's not like a huge thing. Uh, okay, we're good. It's fine. This is so exciting over here. God, I love it. My hair does just the weirdest shit. Okay. I feel like my catchphrase is going to be I'm just not used to this backwards camera thing. Okay. This whole f intro isn't going to be the worst shit. Let's just delete and start over, right? That seems like the thing to do. Fair warning to everyone. This video is a disaster. No other way to put it. And I'm just going to tell you now, there's a lot of rambling. There's a lot of bleeps. There's a lot of a lot of things. And so if that's not what you're here for, you should probably just click out now, right? As always, I'm starting with my um, potion primer for my eye. So I'm trying to match to this dress over here in the corner. I'm gonna crop it back in. Um, and so, but the thing is, I don't think I have a single palette that will give me the look that I'm picturing in my mind. So I legit have four palettes just spread out in front of me. I'm gonna be doing a lot of swatching today. That's the word, right? I'm gonna be doing a lot of mixing and matching and I, I'm just really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Always starting with my above crease blend, I work my way down. So I'm gonna start with Georgia from the, pe uh, from the Peaches palette. Um, the Too Faced Peach. I'm going to start with this very light shade called Georgia. It's very pink, um, matte, and I'm, I'm just going to spread that all over. Got puree, which is too dark. So, so far, my two big contenders for my first blend which is gonna all blend in anyway, so you're like, why are you putting this much effort into this? Need to waste some time. I think what I'm gonna do is this uh, Katsina, right? And then down into the boundaries. There are times and days for a darker color blend, but today is just hanging out with some friends, wearing a cute summer dress, so nothing that dark today my friends you know this is gonna sound awful but i legit forgot i have a whole nother bag of palettes over here this is the morphe palette that i did my first makeup video with this is the tarte um amazon clay uh tarte clay play oh that's right it does have a blush guys i own a blush how about, no, Journey I'm not. I'm gonna start with Katsina. I legit took all that time digging through all those palettes and I still just went with the first choice I had before I even dragged out the bag. But it actually is much lighter on the skin. And also I'm getting annoyed with these headphones. So um, I decided to tell you all some stories about what happened this night when we went out because it was 
funny. Okay, and then I'm going to take boundaries. But like in voiceover between the regular audio. That's going to be my bottom shade of my blend. And because it's the bottom, I'm keeping right to this above crease as much as possible. And I'm not taking it all the way in. I'm stopping halfway across the area. Whatever it's called. So me and my friends, the usual gang you've all seen, we went to... Okay. <laughs> but she did a very good job. I'm really liking it. Oh, I could do a little bit of the candied peach because there's a lot of, like, peachy corals. So we went to Oregano's, and while we were waiting to go inside, because there was a long wait, um, while we were waiting to go inside, there is this group of guys sitting on the other end of the patio, and they were all old, and one of them, it was his birthday. I am essentially just covering up, like, two of the shades that I just did with this peach to the point that I'm wondering why the f*** did I waste that time. But also, I'm loving the way it's looking. So, and I think part of that is the blend underneath. Now go doing the shimmer on the eyelids, and I am going to do a cut crease. Today, because I am kind of making this up as I go, like I know a general idea of what I want to put for my shimmer on my lid, but it's still very much like in the works mentally. I think I do want an inner corner to be blue. So I'm probably going to do... Um, I'm in. I kind of want to try four colors for my blend today. Usually I do three. I feel like I could get away with four, right? Do you agree with me? Oh well, if you don't, who the f cares? Okay, so first I'm going to do mineral from Oasis. I'm going to go into I'm in from Saharan. Nope, that's way too dark. I feel like a pirate supposed to be leaving for the restaurant in like an hour and a half and you're like that that's nothing uh, like you got plenty of time but no i don't <laughs> i really don't folk do you know that the plural of folk is folk because folk is a plural because it, it's already plural like it's a plural from plural form and the reason we say folks is because of that porky pig end thing of Looney Tunes. We're like, that's all folks. And people picked up on using it. So now the common belief is that folks is the plural form, but folk itself is a plural form. Fun little English lesson for you all. Because I'm a pretentious snob who likes to pretend I know about things that I don't know about. Just kidding. I have two degrees in it. There is this color Paradise from the Morphe. But... Paradise is darker than peach, so and you're like, Laura, shut the fuck up. No, I do what the fuck I want. Except go out past 8 p.m. Because my friends were like, let's go to Chili's at 8. And I was like, I ain't gonna get no fucking fine just to be hanging out with you for a little bit. So as long as it doesn't bring me financial repercussions, I'll do whatever I want, right? I think I got it. Yeah, glare. So then we're gonna go into glare. To start warming up because the first two colors are very frosty icy and then I want to start warming it so I can get to that pink at the end that's gonna be the blend that's it right there I go this way okay so we're gonna start with let's see if I can actually do this and you're like Laura you lost your mind but your shit I have so I am joining a staff uh, where we are starting up the high school for a charter. Um, the charter's done really well at the elementary level and so now they want to start up the high school side of that. They're ready to start up their high school. Um, so my principal from the last school uh, that I worked at here in Arizona, she called me a few and she offered me a job with her. She offered me a job to go with her to the new school. I am a Hufflepuff. I'm very loyal. Um, I think it's interesting how my generation kind of, like, we use that to tell others what we're like. <laughs> um, we're like, yeah, I'm a Hufflepuff. And they're like, oh, okay, I understand. The thing about my principal is that she's been nothing but professional. To me, that's just so important that she's not in this to be my friend. And she doesn't try to. Um, so she... She asked me to go with her. I immediately said yes. Uh, we, up until this point, like we had our summer vacation and I know that there are, te there are people out in the world that are like, teachers get three months off to do nothing. 
No. Here's the deal. Uh, a bunch of you parents have been making these posts and these jokes and these videos about, you know, I can't deal with this homeschooling stuff. I do that on the daily times 30 all day. Next time he doesn't want to pay us more. Y'all better fight for us. Man, I've just gone way off on a tangent here. Oh. Oh, yeah, I was being mean to the people who said teachers have it easy because they get summer vacations. We spend all day, every day dealing with your kids that you don't want for most of the day. Because most of you are like, if I had to deal with my kids all day, guess who gets to do that? Yeah, if we want to take a couple weeks off to relax after all that craziness. So, but the thing is, we don't take the summer off. Um, me and my fellow teachers at my school have already started meeting about this next year. You're like, well, you get three months off. We don't. We get maybe about, if we can stretch it, we get maybe about three to four weeks of relaxation after a very stressful nine months. And then we start jumping right back into the planning process for the next year. You now I'm going to have so much time cropping and editing this. And I immediately accepted it because um, she's been a wonderful boss to me. And I've never had an opportunity like this. Um, that's definitely a big part of my decision. I've never had an opportunity to be involved in the creation um not to say it's going to be the laura show or anything like that not at all it's just um such an exciting opportunity to be part of that type of team you know, we have a great team we work together well several of us um, have worked together before on both sides i think we're going to do very well as a team overall have the eyelid done kind of love it I just wanted to give you a close-up here on that gorgeous blend on the lid, but fun fact, um, in this shitty lighting and camera, you can't even really tell, so that was a bust. Um, next, we're going to do the eyeliner, which I'm going to use my new go-to house by Gaga. I bet you all forgot about my story time that I was going to do in between. I forgot about it. So we went to Oregano's, right? And there are these older men. And the one that it was his birthday was very drunk to begin with. And then he decided to buy us all drinks. And it was the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I love how I spend a lot of time on my shimmer. And then I just completely cover it up with the eyeliner. And that covers up a lot of that color. I just spent a whole 20 minutes figuring out the shades and the blendings. So Nikki takes her cut crease above her eyelid, and I'd love to do that, but that means I would have to sacrifice my, um, like, my blends up here. And so I don't really want to do that, because to me, that's a big part of the look as well. Maybe I will take it up above there today, though. Okay, other side. I was going to start with this side today, and she's like, start with your difficult eye first, and then make your other eye match it. Completely forgot. Oh, well. So the old dude bought us drinks. He's not old. He was in his 50s and the rest of us were in our 20s and he flat out told us we were the same age as his children. So he came over trying to flirt with my dear friend Hannah because she is very wonderful. And then he kept just talking to us even though some of us were like, please stop sir, please go away. You have a weird little thing going on there on this side. This f***ing headphones man. But eventually they got called to their table because they were there before us. So we were sitting waiting for our table. And we were one of the last groups to get taken inside. Uh, and he yelled across the restaurant, have them sit over here by us. And we were all like, please, dear God, no. But they went ahead and sat us by him because I guess they thought we knew him. And uh, we had to sit there and sing happy birthday to him even though we didn't even know him. And it was awful. They got the eyeliner done. Oh, do I want to take my... I feel like I do. I'm going to do something a little different. Even though I've never done it much before. So I'm excited about how this will all f*** up in about two minutes. So I thought I hit record. I didn't. What I did was I went above the crease and put some um, foundation on there and then set it with setting powder so I can take the shimmer blend above the crease. And then I'm probably going to use a little bit of my regular matte up here. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this entire area for my eyelid. So then, like, what I was saying was that, um... Oh, no, there was less so time I'm than I thought. i to gauge the time. Like, how much time do I have left before I have to really start panicking and rushing? We're going to go across the area I just cut out with that same shade from before. So they set us by this group of older men. 
And then at some point, the birthday boy, who was now even drunker, came over to try to talk to us again. I hopped on my phone because I didn't want to interact at all. And uh, then the staff came out and was like, we should sing happy birthday to him. But none of us knew his name. So when it came time to sing, it was like, happy birthday, dear person. And honestly, it was embarrassing for that man. So then now I'm going to go back in with my blend brush and uh, cover up just the top little bit of this whole shimmer eye thing because I went way too high with it. Yeah, the story is done, so I don't know. So I guess just the end. I don't even realize it till later when I'm editing. And at that point, I gotta hope that I can uh, just voice over. Otherwise, I just gotta, you know, leave it in there and hope that none of you call me out of my. It is now 5.02. I have 58 minutes. Although my dress is right here. But I do want to swatch Will Dobby. Oh, that is really f***ing gold. And then finally we're going to do Senegal. Um, what? Why couldn't there have been this much blank space when I was trying to record my story? I mean, there's enough here that I could quote the entire fucking Declaration of Independence. Four score, but I think that might be the wrong speech. Guys, I just googled it. Can confirm, I was thinking of the wrong thing. I think I was thinking of like when Reagan- <laughs> This shirt is so cute. Oh my god, stop interrupting me. Okay, so when- I, I don't think that I had the right speech there. Um, but I'm still just very angry at like how much time I have here to just ramble at you guys in voiceover. And when I was trying to tell you my whole story, there was no silence ever. My hand. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just so cute. At least according to me. And that's the only person that really f matters today. Okay, after all that, I realize I need to go back in on this side and put in some more of that cactus. God, I suck. Okay, we're going to do the face now. Um, today I'm using a new uh, primer. Uh, it's Peter Thomas Roth, Skin to Die For, Nord Filter Mattifying Primer. So then my therapist said that I really needed to stop focusing on the hedgehog and instead think about what it means in context of my journey here. My go-to foundation is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, I use shade 3.25. Um, for me, this is what works best with my skin. Now this goes on very thick, you see right away. I put on a little bit and it's very thick immediately. There is no double layers needed here. Unless you very specifically need to cover up a flaw somewhere. But even then you might want to consider possibly doing concealer beforehand. And see as you blend it out from that initial it thins out, but it's still full coverage. I don't think I'll need to go over that half of my nose again. With this foundation, because it's so thick and so full coverage, if I want to use it to alter the shape of my eyeshadow to make my eyes look more like up instead of down like they usually do, I can do that with this conceal, uh, not conceal, this foundation. So I'm actually going to actually come up a little bit onto the shadow to create that upward swoop to the eye instead of having it be down because you see on this eye, it comes down, that lowers the shape of your eye. Over here, I've taken it from the corner up, and that kind of creates that line that leads the eye up. So again, we have a fair amount on the sponge, and we spread that onto the skin, and then from there, we're going to just dab it out. I do blend on my chin to make sure that there is a solid color there, and there's not like the line of demarcation like here down. And yes, I do go onto my ears. I'm not really paranoid about like not matching color because I mean and this is a pretty norm thing So please don't think I'm being mean when I say this I remember girls when I was in like junior high high school that they would start wearing makeup and they're just learning and So then they would have that line, you know And so when I even when I was first starting to make up I knew blend down as far as you want Because um, see down here the shade perfectly matches right here on my neck, so I blend down to meet that shade on my neck. Kind of hate it. I kind of I shouldn't have done that thing with the cut crease because it doesn't look ghettoish. It's 
It's time to get some fixing done. Because that was way too high. I don't think I'm gonna post this video ever because this is really awful. Like this is beyond disaster artist awful. This is like I was legitimately stupid awful. So this is what legitimately pushed this video into the truly awful category. Just how many missteps I took that led to me having to completely kind of redo my eye. <laughs> Just so, and look, my headphones were getting caught there. That's amazing. Obviously, I have problems. But anyways, I had to take, for every two seconds you see here, it took five minutes. Backward camera. Don't you just love the back of that shirt, though? It is so cute. One of my favorite things about the shirt. But I never wear it because of the whole neckline thing. It does this thing all the time. This is a completely different eye look than I had in mind when I started this. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. It's way co more colorful than I had pictured, but my dress is pretty colorful, so I'm hoping that'll. So I'm using the Bye Bye Underline by It Cosmetics. I just do a little bit. This little bit will get me pretty much all of my areas that I highlight. I always start with under the eye, just a little bit, because this little bit will this will pull all the way across. So then I'm gonna go down the bridge of the nose. Blending, blending, blending. That's the key here in this portion. You tap on the product, you blend it in till it matches. It's still going to brighten up your, your area there, but there are no lines between your lighter concealer and your regular foundation that matches your skin. The milk chocolate for my contour, the bronzer, but I use it as a contour because it's a very cool bronzer. You see that I am tapping it onto the skin and I am creating a thick line of the contour there because I'm gonna go through with my blender and my brush and I'm going to brush out those sharp lines. For the neck, I do take my contour halfway down my neck. And then I blend it. Again, just so that there's not that harsh line that we have all seen on people. That gets blended down. There are two ways that you can um, Blend in, you can use the blender like I'm doing, or you can use the brush and just tap out the, the brush. Top of the brow, bring it to the bridge. Okay, top of the brow, bring it to the bridge, and then pull it down that bridge in a line. Okay, this makes the nose appear shorter because that's your business. You can see here that I am using the soft end of the brush to blur out those harsh lines for the nose contour. And this just makes it look like I've been out in the sun for the past few months when I have not left my apartment, but like once every other week. A little bit right by the hairline. Like I said, not very low. Um, and then a little bit down the side of the nose on each side. Uh, for blush, I just stamp it on the cheekbone above where I just put my bronzer. It's fine. <laughs> that's a lot. <gasps> Blend. And that's the trick of it. If you ever put on a product that's just too strong or too harsh, just use your blender, blend out those lines, and you can get your face back to whatever level you want it to be at for your makeup. Highlighter. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. Um, I think I'm going to use this brush because I want it to be very concentrated. I do it in circular up the cheekbone. I don't know why. I don't know if that actually does anything, but that's just what I do. I had such high aspirations for tonight. I was like, I'm going to have a really subtle eye look. I'm going to do my hair a little bit. None of that happening. No subtlety. No hair. It'll just be messy and gross and wild. I'm going to nose on the tip of the nose. Here in the middle of my forehead. Cupid's bow, as always, makes that top lip look fuller. I don't know why I'm still talking because this video is never going to see the light of day. Ever. God, it's like I don't even know myself. Like how much I enjoy making a spectacle of my pain here. I need to do my under eye. For the under eye, I always take whatever that darkest shade is up top and use that in the corner of the under eye. And then for the rest of it, I blend in another color that I think will complement that color. Waterliner, I'm doing this fake awake. Now they at least have a little bit of shape to them. It's going to be a quick, they get what they get and that's what they get and that'll be good enough for them. Lips, I'm just going to be doing my Morphe set. You'll see in other videos where I use this lip set that the Morphe set does have a lip liner with it, but I didn't use it today because first of all I was running behind and also I didn't want bigger lips. There we go. You practically can't even see them. But my eye up top is so like crazy dark that that doesn't matter. We're done. We're done recording and I'll, I'll do a closer when I get back, okay? Guess what? I did not do an 
ending of the video just because we ended up staying out late, like super late. And when I got home, I was so exhausted. I literally just went to sleep. But that's kind of on brand for how disastrous this entire video has been, right? <laughs>